Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Ye sons and daughters, let us sing the King of heaven, the glorious King. O'er death today rose triumphing. Alleluia. 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 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We pause to ask God's mercy. <clears throat> in your infinite mercy and compassion hear us lord for we call out to you lord have mercy, lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen let us pray O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, look at us. He paid attention to them expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood, and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, Rejoice O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts, that seek, seek the, Lord. the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts, that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, Rejoice O hearts, that seek, seek the Lord. You, descendants of Abraham, his servants, descendants <clears throat> of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Rejoice, Rejoice the Lord, to seek the, seek the Lord. Lord. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered in with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, Rejoice the Lord, to seek the, the Lord. Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, 
What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory. Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. This is my most favorite account of the apparition story of Jesus because for several reasons. I mean, first of all, because it most closely resembles how the resurrected Christ is revealed to us through Mass, the breaking open of the Word and the explaining of the Word and how it applies to Jesus and our salvation, and then the breaking of the bread, the sharing in his body and blood. This is exactly what the first two disciples experienced on the first Sunday. They were the first to be celebrating the resurrection of the Lord by the liturgy of the word that he gives to them and the liturgy of the Eucharist that he provides for them. And their eyes are opened. They see him, but not only that, they talk about how he was opening the scriptures to them to understand their hearts were burning within them as they heard his teaching and his explanation of the resurrection and the salvation of the world. One of the other things that I like about this is that most scripture scholars say, well, this was a husband and wife. They were going to their home in Emmaus. The two of them together in their home with Jesus are the, one of the first among all of those disciples to receive Jesus's apparition. And as he does, he explains to them all there is. May the Lord continue to fill our hearts, our homes, our dinner tables with his presence as he makes himself present to us and opens our hearts with the breaking of the word and the breaking of the bread. Let us stand to pray.
Let us now turn our attention to the Lord and confidently entrust to him our needs and prayers. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons whom God has called to lead the church, may they be filled with the Spirit of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God grant them courage in their work protecting the dignity of life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people who are isolated by illness or age, may the grace of God's presence bring them consolation and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us gathered here, may our hearts be set ablaze by wonder at the work of God in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, May they be brought rejoicing into the promised happiness of the kingdom, most especially for Norman Thomas being remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For whom else shall we pray? For my nephew Tommy on his 54th birthday and his 30 years free of leukemia, that the Lord continue to bless him, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. It stops the killing and peace to come to the Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear and answer these our prayers according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, he has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they exclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Amen. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Norman, remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Christ. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. <clears throat> we pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. 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 Verse number two. Alleluia. 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 That Easter morn at break of day, the faithful women went their way to seek the tomb where Jesus lay. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Have a good day, y'all. Thank you, Father.